Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our special online celebration of Martin Luther King Day. I'm Jean Dard, that science guy from the Great Lakes Science Center, and we're here inside the NASA Glenn Visitor Center that's co-located at our facility. You know, last January, NASA selected 18 members from its astronaut corps for the Artemis program, the program that will take us back to the moon and beyond. Now, the Artemis team is a diverse group of men and women who represent the very best of our nation. Half of the astronauts in this brave new group of explorers are women, including two African-American women, one of which, a veteran astronaut, had previously worked at Cleveland's own NASA Glenn Research Center. What better way to celebrate the life and legacy of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. than to meet another one of the African-American astronauts that his dream helped to inspire. Here, my friends, is her story. Mission Specialist number three, Stephanie Wilson. Making her first flight into space. She'll sit in that seat right between and behind the pilot commander. ATD, MS3, contact. MS3, this is NTD. I've got your mind clear. Good morning, Stephanie. Yeah, go for main Every space flight is special. The first space flight is very memorable for everyone. On the day of launch, everyone's very excited. And it's very surreal when the uh, solid rocket boosters and the main engines ignite. It's very apparent that we're going somewhere and it's the best eight and a half minute ride ever. The view from space is spectacular. It can be very peaceful, very serene. The colors are so vivid. The vibrant orange of the Sahara Desert, the blue-green color of the oceans. It's a wonderful sight to behold. And what is readily transparent is that while there may or may not be strife on Earth, it appears to us to be one unified planet. And having that perspective of one Earth and one humanity is one that we definitely appreciate having from space. I had a great curiosity for what's unknown, and I like to solve problems. So trying to understand and have a better sense of the universe and what that means to humanity, who we are, what our history is, and how we leverage that knowledge to bring benefits to humanity was something that struck me and I hope to work with in the future. I have certainly benefited by having some great mentors in the office across NASA. One thing that veterans of space flights do is they share their expertise and their experience during the mission. Christina on the UIA, check oxygen EM1 and 2. Oxygen EM1 and 2 are open. And I do my best to pass along the experience and the knowledge that I have gained to others in the office and with the next generation so that we can have a better future for all of humanity. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more NASA content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on our channel. Oh, my friends, that is just so very, very, very cool. Um, for more information about the Artemis program, you can visit the Artemis program homepage, and you can find that at nasa.gov slash specials, with an S, slash Artemis. And of course, for a complete list of all the great programming on our YouTube channel that's related to our special online celebration of Martin Luther King Day, be sure to visit our website at greatscience.com. On behalf of all of us here at the Great Lakes Science Center, I'm Jean Dar, reminding all of you to be safe and to stay curious.